for the complete index to this or any other series, please go to BossIntegrations.com and click on Integration Videos. Process 2, Part 2 Once you've logged into the Dell Boomi Atmosphere trial, expand the Series 1 folder, expand the Processes folder, and double click on Email Invalid Phone Numbers. Now that the process has come up, we're going to add a few new uh, execution and logic objects to this process. The first one is a data processing object. So we click and hold on data process, drag it onto the desktop, and let go. Here you can see you can add several process steps and move them up and down after you have added them and you can also delete them. So let's add a processing step and we're going to add split documents and we're going to split by line and we're going to say no column headers and click on OK. Now I can drag and drop this arrow onto the data process shape click and hold on the data process shape and pull it back towards the start shape and we've added one more object to the process. I highlight on the data process shape click on configure you can see what we added split documents. What split documents actually does is when the data comes in from the file it will now split the documents or the records one by one and fire them through to the next object one record at a time. Let's add another object to this process. We'll go down and click on the logic bar and we see the logic objects. And there are several of them. Click and hold on the stop object, drag it onto the desktop and let go click and hold on the red arrow, drop it on the stop object and let go, it turns green. And now click and hold on the stop object and pull it in a little closer. Now let's run this process again. Go up to run a test. Click run test because our atom has already been selected. As you can see, the process has been completed without any errors because all objects turned green. If we click on the data process object, and if we click on the shape source data, you can see one document here. And if we open up that document, we see all of the records, including the header. So at the beginning of this, this object, all the records came through, all together in one document. We click on the stop object, we're looking at shape source data. You can see here that several documents came through, one for each record because they were split during the data process phase. We open up the first document. You can see it's just the header record. And if we open up the second document, you can see it's the first record with data. So that is the functionality of the data process object in this particular case. Now let's take a look at the process log. Go up to the menu, click, click on view log. Here you can see all the steps the process went through. Take some time to get yourself familiar with what each of these messages mean. And now we'll return to edit mode and we're ready to add more objects. Congratulations on completing the lesson!